Uh, good afternoon, other uh, participants and the Zoom participants. Uh, thank you for your participation. I am the moderator of session one. Uh, Yuka Umemura, chief curator, the National Museum of Art. Of, uh, we have three hour session today, and I'd like to ask your kind cooperation. Uh, session one is a new uh, network uh, in the Asian Pacific. Uh, region uh, and uh, uh, you know the uh, the Bunkacho, uh, you know the art platform in you know, the erosion is engaged in building the professional network. Uh, in the past five years, uh, the Asian Pacific uh, new museums and uh, their concept and uh, the uh, you know the uh, thought will be learned you know on the mutual basis. And uh, the uh, J Network uh, initiative of the Japan Foundation uh, will be reflected, and uh, to uh, you know the, uh, discuss with you about uh, the uh, new function that is seeked for. We have three uh, you know the presenters today. And uh, first, uh, let me introduce uh, the uh, you know the uh, first presenter, uh, the uh, the uh, M plus senior curator, Dr. P. Lee, a senior curator and the head curator of affairs, the M Plus Museum of Visual Culture, Hong Kong. Uh, today, uh, he will introduce the M Plus uh, in the open in 2021. That is a major Hong Kong museum. Uh, to our regret, uh, you know, due to pandemic, uh, we cannot physically visit uh, M Plus uh, yet. Uh, maybe just a handful of you in here uh, have visited uh, M Plus. So uh, we are looking forward to hearing from uh, Dr. P about uh, the M Plus and the M Plus uh, global networking uh, you know, the concept uh, is uh, also uh, be included in his presentation. Next presenter is uh, you know, the Park Juan, Ms. Park Juan, curator, National Museum of Modern Art, Contemporary Art uh, in the Korea MMCA in 2020 in the Asian Forum as advisory member as well. Uh, you know, the, today, uh, you know, the, she, she will uh, uh, you know, the share with us uh, the MMCA's uh, overall picture and also Asian focus, uh, her own curating uh, project is uh, to be uh, you know, the shared. The third presenter is uh, Ms. Yasuko Furuichi, uh, former the Japan Foundation Fine Arts Visual Arts Coordinator. Uh, the um, 2019 uh, to 20, uh, she uh, was engaged in the uh, Japan and uh, the uh, Asian, uh, you know, the um, arts uh, exchange, you know, the project uh, for many years, uh, and uh, the uh, network, uh, you know, the building uh, is uh, today the theme. Uh, the, uh, you know, the from uh, the Fuji, the function of uh, uh, role of the Japan Foundation that was, uh, you know, the very important, and uh, we will hear from Ms. Fuji about uh, that role. And now, Dr. P, please. Okay. Thank you, Yokozan. Um, thank you, everyone. It's my great honor to be here to give you a brief introduction or a virtual tour of M Plus, a new visual culture museum which just opened uh, last year. Uh, we opened uh, November 21st last year, and uh, by now, even during the three months closure uh, due to the pandemic in Hong Kong, where they reached the 1.5 million audience. That's far as it's a great success and encouragement. So I'm very happy today on behalf of the all and plus international colleagues, maybe you, some of you already knew them for many years. I will give you a brief introduce, introduction and a virtual tour of M plus. So next slide, please. So when I begin to this virtual tour, I want to give you, maybe some of you are not so familiar with the uh, museum or cultural institution histories in Hong Kong. Like uh, for many years, Hong Kong be called as the 
desert for culture and art, and that's partially the reason why after 1997, after 1997 when Hong Kong handed over to um, People's Republic of China, and they want to build up this kind of very ambitious museum project. But uh, prior to that, 1996, that's like the first the artist run non-profit space called the Parasite, built in Shanghuan in Hong Kong. They just founded by eight young artists. Next slide. 2000, many of you quite familiar with this like Asia Art Archive, and that's one of the leading independent non-profit organization, and that does really collect our memory about Asia. That's also like an eye opener for our research as to Southeast Asia, to the South Asian, to the female artists in these regions. So that's all prior to the idea of the M plus um, being built. Next slide. And then since 2012, and when the Art Basel be involved as, 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 as well, and the whole cultural landscape in Hong Kong changed a lot. I, I think uh, in 2018 and 2019, there are two major uh, cultural institutions being opened, and quite based on this kind of the cultural heritage renew project. The first one was 2018, it's called the Tycoon. Tycoon in Cantonese means the headquarter of the police station. Basically, that was all the prison and the police station. And on top of that, also designed by the Swiss architect Herzog de Meron. He built up this uh, Daguan Contemporary as one of the cultural institutions there, nurturing Hong Kong young art tenant, and in the in the meantime, introduced uh, this kind of uh, authentic uh, uh, art experience to Hong Kong public. Next slide. 2020 and the chart, the Center for the Heritage of Art and the Textile is all, all opened. It's also based on this kind of the uh, heritage, more like an industrial heritage. And uh, that's more talking about the based on the kind of history of the textile, they try to evolve in this kind of the, the history of the, the textile and the Hong Kong his history, as well as the contemporary art. And it's directed by our Japanese colleague, uh, Mizuki Takashi-san. And so that's like uh, those cultural institutions opened in Hong Kong in the first, uh, from 1996 till now. And then here comes the M plus, which the whole idea was initiated in the 1998, and we built up the first uh, culture, uh, West Kowloon Culture Authority, which is like a general governance institution for that piece of land in 2006. And then uh, I joined the M plus in 2012 as the staff number 10, and now we opened the museum in, uh, in the 2021. Next slide, please. So from the day one, uh, M plus, it, unlike those mu museums in China, in Taiwan, in Singapore, I, I think from day, day one, due to the very uh, intense political intention between Hong Kong SAR and the main, mainland of China, and Hong Kong committed to be a uh, international museum. And we call the M plus is more than a museum. So ba basically, instead of the rebuilding small museum for ink art, for visual art, for architecture, for, for, for design, we combine them all to together. So that's where the name comes from, M plus, more than the museum. So we committed for the art in the visual culture, not only visual art, from 20th to 21st century. Next slide. So that's really dream, uh, draw our attention again to the where the polit uh, geographical location of uh, Hong, Hong Kong is. When I joined the M, M Plus at, at that time, we also talking about like is Hong Kong a part of the Southeast Asia? And also thinking about there are so many population of the South Asian, South Asian immigrants live in Hong Kong. So we more treat Hong Kong as kind of the place on the edge of China. China connect uh, uh, East Asia and Southeast Asia, and also with lots of the uh, South Asian in, in immigrants. So that's also the way we want to think about how we balance this kind of things in Hong Kong. Next slide. So yeah, this, this slide is also really showing that our when we talk about the international, which means we are 
focus on those art in Hong Kong, in the main and China, where we also want to spread our eyes to the East Asia, South South Asia, and Asia beyond. So that's more like a, when we talk about the international, how we to reflect this kind of idea of the international. Next slide. So unlike those institutions we introduced from 1996, from the parasite to uh, chart, and uh, M, M, M plus is a museum with the collect collection. We built up all our collection of the visual cult cult culture from 2012 to until now, it's ongoing project. Our first collection was a very general donation by Swiss collector, Dr. Uli Z. He donated his work, like a collection of the 1,500 pieces to M plus. So in the next 10, 10 years, we build up our whole collection. So M plus collections have three components. One, one is the M plus collect, collect, collection, mainly about our visual arts, architecture, and, and design. And the M plus C collection is mainly focused on Chinese contemporary art, which covered the year from the 1972 to 2001. And then we have another 48,000 archives, which including fantastic uh, architecture archive of the archigram. And we also have a great archive of Japanese post-war industrial de design and the graphic design in M+. So, so far 90% of our collection is by donation. Sec next slide. I also would like to walk you through our building. That building was fun. It's like a it's, it's like a vertical part on part of the uh, horizontal part, and you can see the vertical part is our gallery, and the horizontal part is more like the research cen cen center of 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 its space. And the, on the left side, you can see the, the concrete bunker place. That's our storage and the conservation cen center. Next slide. So you can see that the, we have the 33 gallery, galleries, three cinemas, one media tech, which can help us to view in, like more like a moving image library. We can, by the selection and the reservation, uh, the audience can go to pick up the video or do the video on research. And uh, yeah, next slide. So this is the main hall. So since it's a virtual tour, maybe I give you, maybe I take a privilege to show you one video um, about the main hall. Yes, it's a welcome by our director, Sohania. We are now in the main hall, our public gathering space in the central part of the museum a quintessential herzog Neuron space designed for M+, using the muscular structures of concrete and terracotta, internal and outside, you will see it, but also the bamboo, bamboo used for our furniture right throughout the museum, very sustainable material. It is also a space where we commission artists to make work, including digital artists. And we have right behind me now an amazing patron's wall designed by Japanese digital designer, very eminent, Nakamura Yugo-san. Another important architectural feature of the main hall are the two light wells that sit on either side of the tower, bringing beautiful natural light right into this large open space but we also use the structural columns for our artwork commissions. And right now you can see the magnificent paintings made by Taiwanese ink artist, senior artist Dong Yan Tse, inspired by the I Ching. So yet the museum is not about the building. Museum is also about the content. So while we decided uh, as many of these ambitious museum projects, we are keep postponing 
postponing due to the many reasons. Uh, we suppose when I joined the M Plus, I was told the museum will open in 2015 and then become 2017, and then finally 2021. But since 2018, our curatorial team was like around 70 creators. We prepared to creating the opening show. And we decided that for the first year, we will open the museum with six collection exhibitions. So basically, if you now go to M Plus, we basically just show our collection. So I uh, here list up like uh, six shows here. The first show, when you enter in the gallery space, you will see the first show called Hong Kong Here and Beyond. It's kind of the history of the Hong Kong visual culture. And the gold, if you go to the second floor, you will see our M plus Z collection, which give you a chronological display of Chinese art, which from the revolution to globalization. So these two exhibitions really showed you the diversity of the art in the region of the Great China. If you go, then you can see like a two brackets which contain this top the topic. The first called the scenes, spaces, and the interaction is a collection display of our post-war design by uh, from uh, it's, it's more like arch, 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 architecture and the design collection display created by Iko um, Yokoyama-san. Uh, also from Japan, and the individuals, networks, expressions really give you a brief display about uh, how contemporary art and uh, triggered or happened in our region and how that uh, dialogue with, with the world beyond the Asia. And then we have two small mu museum, uh, two small projects, the, the Dream of the Museums, which talking about uh, like how the conceptualism, con conceptual triggered the new concept of the, uh, the, the, the the museum, and also another very like a single word display, and um, Andoni Gomli Asian field, which part produced in China 20 years ago, 2003, and totally triggered this kind of the wave for this kind of the engagement, communicate art, com community art. So I will walk you through the several uh, the, the the exhibitions next. So that's will give you the brief idea, idea, the ground floor and the second floor and how the show are mapping there. Next slide, thank you. So the main gallery is called Hong Kong Here and Now. Where we, you know in Hong Kong, they also have like a long history museum called Hong Kong Museum of Art and the Hong Kong Heritage Museum. So our way to tell you the story of the Hong Kong visual culture is not only from the Hong Kong perspective, we more use Hong Kong as a methodology. And uh, we want to tell you or reviewing the visual culture history in Hong Kong by its connection to by those international connections. So, so you can see, you can see King of Go King of Kowloon, the like uh, one of outsider calligrapher writing this kind of graffiti on the street. You also can see how Hong Kong really like uh, triggered those new visual experience in the action film, animation, as well as the computer games. And the uh, next slide. So we also want to pre present like how Hong Kong, the building of the Hong Kong city, city of offered this kind of the, the this utopia or this kind of the renovation for the uh, for the 21st century city building the right hand is called uh, uh, as a project by two american architects it's talking about a, a city with no ground basically he just unpacking those like uh, the bridge the underground which connect the whole uh, commercial building buildings in central and the right hand is talking about the like newly like younger generation of the animation artists in Hong Kong. Next slide. If you go upstairs, then you will see like uh, East Galleries, which called the Scenes, Space, Interaction. It's our solid collection display talking about the post-war architecture and design. As you can see, the whole collection are quite a range from like a, a civil center building to the Noguchi furniture and also to the first the Imujo. So we really want to talk about the kind of from the like, national building to the post-war architect uh, to the Pomo. So we really want to show how the 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 pattern of this kind of the architecture and design in our field. Next slide. 
for example, and in the East Gallery, we have several highlights there. We are very honored to have this kind of the masterpiece, Kuimoto uh, Susiba uh, by the Kuimata Shishiro. We bas ba basically transplant the whole bar, including the furniture, the interiors, to Hong Kong. We also have very good presentation by Japanese uh, architecture, Iz Izozaki Atara, and uh, which like uh, really show his like uh, his project in the Osaka Art, Art Fair in the 60s. Next slide. So when we talk about international museum, what's the international mean, and how we tell you this kind of a global art or the international artscape? That that's not only means like place all the work all together. So I want to use this short video to present our two special exhibitions to show you how this kind of the floating, the, this kind of the, 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 the pattern of the international art um, in our re region. Yes, please. Now I'm entering West Gallery, which is showing the most monumental work from the M Plus collection. And that's Asian Field by Anthony Gomli. Gomli came to China in 2003 to realize a dream project. He found a village in Guangdong province and worked with 300 villagers to create over 200,000 clay figurines in the span of one week. This is the first time that this work is shown since 2003. We worked very closely with a group of about 20 art students to install this work over three weeks. Our audiences can stand in front of this sea of figurines and that experience is like facing the whole of humanity. We're in the courtyard galleries which are one of the unique spaces in the Empress building. As you can see these galleries are cladded completely in bamboo on the floors, on the walls and on the ceilings. For the inauguration, what we decided to do is to make a jewel box-like exhibition that is a self-reflection. A self-reflection on the significance of building a 21st century global museum in and for Asia. And we wanted to tell this story through the conceptual practices within the Empress collection. In the first gallery, we have four foundational figures who are Marcel Duchamp, John Cage, Namjoon Paik, and Yoko Ono. These four figures have very close personal as well as professional relationships, and all together they formed and represented the East-West connection and is at the core of this exhibition. As we walk into the next gallery, we see a broader constellation of practices from more different contexts, and times and geographies. In the first space, as you walk in, you may think that you have entered a space of traditional Asian art. But in fact, each of these works, each of these practices is very much rooted in the foundational conceptual ideas of chance and ready-made. As we walk into the next space, we see some other examples of conceptual practices. For instance, we see another work by Yoko Ono, which is a white chess set, an homage to none other than John Cage, a very important mentor as well as a friend to the artist herself. This work is resonating with a performative work by Morimura Yasumasa, where the artist is recreating performatively the historic event where Marcel Duchamp played the chess with a nude young woman. We also have an example of 1987 work by Huang Yongping in those dawn years of Chinese contemporary art, where he created a work that was inspired by and is also an homage to none other than Marcel Duchamp. In the rest of the galleries, we have even more far-flung places and practices. We have figures such as Gabriel Orozco, Rikri Tervanit, Etel Adnan, in Yambu. Next slide. I I think this show this 
this particular part is also is it, it, also the one one way we try to when we talking about the international global and while well, we finally have the plat platform to present such a narrative by our collection what are those possibilities are and for sure and we feel this could be the one of the possibility and another possibility well I want to present you from the South Gag galleries, which are also uh, led by our my colleague Pauline J. Yao, our lead creator for the visual arts. Next slide. So the title as a parallel to our design part, we call the individuals, network, and expression. So basically, we want to show how the, the, how the art from the 1950s and the being been, 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 been expensively developed in our region, especially uh, and, and in this, um, this period of time. I also want to show you a very brief video. Next slide. Oh, before I show you the video, I want to show you like, uh, uh, unlike like, uh, 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 the birth of the museum, and the, the whole show is located in the eight galleries, which is uh, so it, it's kind of like a ring, and each gallery is around the 200, 100 to 200 square meters with the, di the different uh, si si sizes. So maybe we see the video first. Okay. Thank you. The artists and artworks presented in Individuals, Networks, Expressions, the inaugural exhibition at M Plus focused on visual art, form a complex web of connections. At the center of this web is Asia, a geographic and cultural label that speaks to different identities, histories, and perspectives. Join us on a journey through visual art that unfolds across time, from the 1950s to the present, and explores how artists created their own visions amid the rise of Asia on the world stage. Presented in eight galleries, Individuals, Networks, Expressions follows a chronology that spans from the post-war period and its reverberations around Asia to our present globalized era. Next slide. Thank you. So the, if you go to the, the ga ga gallery, I think the South Gallery totally to tell you a different story of how contemporary art or modern art developed in our region. We begin with uh, the subject of the abstraction. Next slide in which you can see the abstraction, how that from the Japanese modern calligraphy to this kind of different uh, abstraction practices in Korea, uh, in Taiwan, uh, and how that like uh, we contextualize this kind of the, the practices. Next slide. And then the sa second room for departure from the abstraction, we talk about from kind of the action to idea. Next slide, in which we really Drift from the Moloha uh, to the Gugu Tai to Moloha and those different very radical performance in Japan and in other places of the world. Next slide. And then from action to idea, we also want to tell you this like a modern ink story. Next slide, as well as a Dan Dan Shihua in in Japan. So what we are doing here, we try to really try to contextualize some different practices in our region. Next slide. So Gallery 3 is very challenging space. It's a signature space, signature space of the architecture, which means very hard to use. A very strong sun sunshine, which you can see fantastic building of the Victoria Bay. And that's somehow we only can show the metal and the sculptures in this room due to the strong sunshine. And we show the sculpture and the space, which has a dialogue with another space I will later talk down. Yeah. So we will show the Noguchi here, can name the new disc cover of the female artist in the Singapore and the, the British and the Moloha and the, and the Monique. So really want to show you the pattern of the space, landscape, and the objects. Next slide. 
And then as you're talking about M Plus was committed to be an international museum. And this kind of transnational identity is quite important phenomenon already in Japan in 50s and in China maybe in 80s. So we are really diverse like one room just talking about like diasporas, not only Chinese diaspora, but also about the Asian diasporas. Next slide in which you can see from Cai Guozhang to Kinlan and all this big range of these different artists, how they develop their uh, careers in the other place of the world. Next slide. And then room five is a small landscape section as well as a dialogue to the sculpture and the space. And this particular from our collection of the Sikh collection. Next slide. We based it in this selection by those very textbook level book of Chinese art. We want to present another way, uh, want how the um, traditional Asian culture and how that be uh, interpreted to the con 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 contemporary issues and uh, concerns. Next slide. And then the last part, last three galleries of the whole South Gallery, we mainly talking about the global connections. Next slide. For example, we can see the we have our earliest Cai Guochang Gang Powder Pei painting, which produced in Japan in 1988, and how that dialogue with um, Patricia Ahmad and also even Michael Lin, and also how this kind of the landscape, the this kind of a traditional ink media as a kind of flowing subject from the Liu, uh, Yangjiang group to Wang Gongyi, and also Himan Chang and the pa Patty Chang, and how this kind of the like identity, individual living experience triggered their uh, expression. Next slide. The Gallery 7 is quite an interesting room. We mainly talking about uh, memory and text and the design the communication. Surprisingly, we put the two works in one room. One is like a uh, Otaka, uh, 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 work, work, uh, Shinro's work is kind of like a kind of a lot of ready-made text. And the Li Mingwei, a Taiwan, American Taiwanese uh, video uh, performance artist, dealing with the memory, dealing with the exchange, the Im information, but in a very subtle, emotional way. And we want to show the different approaches. The last room, in this room, we also want to present that is uh, how contemporary art in our region confound those urgent issues. Next slide. For example, in Michael Chu's, we're talking about the Michael Chu's work, we're talking about the, the protest, which was amazing for the second decade of our 21st century. Ian Chen, talking about AI, and Mona Hatong, this kind of very clear statement for the gender expressions here. Next slide. So that's more or less you can see from the birth of the museum, the start of the birth of the museum and our South Gallery. We show like a two different patterns, how we telling you the story of Chinese, uh, of, of the global art and how we can display our collection in the internet, so-called international museum. My Last uh, sec second to last section, I'm to give you a brief introduction about the North Gallery, which we present the Chinese contemporary art. I will begin with one video. Yeah. How should we appreciate contemporary Chinese art? This deceptively simple question, in fact, touches upon a depth of factors outside the world of art. Perhaps you can find the answers in M Plus Sig Collection, from revolution to globalization. M Plus Sig Collection contains over 1,000 works of contemporary Chinese art that encompass a broad range of styles and mediums. You can get a glimpse of new, sometimes radical, approaches to art making that characterize the ethos of the Chinese art scene from the early 1970s to the 2000s. This remarkable flowering of experimental artistic practices in China is actually a reflection of the unprecedented transformation of the country that emerged from the rubble of the Cultural Revolution and ventured into its reform and opening up era and beyond. This exhibition invites you not only to revisit the short history of the emergence of contemporary art in China and its conversations and impact on the global art scene, but also to reflect on the political, social and economic metamorphosis that begot this cultural dynamism. In this exhibition, you can see around 200 works from them, exhibited in seven sections. Okay, thank you. Next slide. 
So since I heard that the program is widely <laughs> display, uh, broadcast in the, Hong uh, in the Japan TV, so I don't spend too much time here. But I want to talk about one feature about the horror show. That's the first time, I, and we all knew that the SIG collection broadly traveled in the different places in the last 20 years. But what we try to achieve, and finally we can achieve, is that we can really tell you this kind of the origin or the different origins for Chinese contemporary art. So our first three gallery will really begin from the early 1980s. We begin from this first, uh, the uh, 85, uh, the, the uh, China avant-garde show in 1989. Next slide. We backtrack to like a whole art movement in 80s. The red sculpture uh, installation in, in the middle is not by Chinese artists. Actually, it's by a Bulgarian artist called Marian Wambanov. She He was studied in China, and then he uh, in 50s, and then he started, he kept his creation, his most of the career in France. And finally, in early 1980s, he could came back. And he was the first international teacher taught this kind of the installation, the material language in Hangzhou. And that's really among his students, we have the Gu Wenda, we have Huang Yongping, we have many other first generation. So I want to use this image to, to, to present like how, even within the Chinese art, how we want to build up such as like a subtle but important connections in the earlier years, 2000, not mention the abstraction. Next slide. And also the abstraction, next slide, as well as this kind of surrealism and how this kind of surrealism as a buried, covered tradition from the 30s in Shanghai and how that re came out in fifty uh, in eighties. Next slide. So we also an, another way we want to present like uh, the 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 tension or the dialogue between the underground uh, art, uh, which on the right side of the slide, and the propaganda art on the left side, and, and how that has been that di dialogue uh, and how that triggered each other, and this also showing us like uh, for the many surprisingly contemporary art or avant-garde art. They are also have another very subtle origin from the political, from socialism realism. Next. So I will not spend in here. Last but not least, I want to end in my presentation to talk about the several commission work and the special project. And there are three commission work happened in our fund space, which is like a, more like our B1 and the B2 space. As you know, M plus is located on the highway turn, turn, uh, terminal there. So, and then we place like three commission works there, uh, some commission and some of the collection. In the middle is by a Shanghainese artist Chen Zhen who went to Paris in 1987, and many of, uh, unfortunately, he passed away in 1999, and many of her work is really dealing about the kind of the difficulties of the communication, misunderstanding, and, and uh, understanding in the like earlier period of the compressed globalization um, process. And on my left side is a commission work by Korean to the Korean artist Hei Gu Yang, and which moved to the Berlin in the 1990s. And in her recent practices, he really brings this kind of summonism and this kind of Korean North, North Asian religions to a contemporary uh, con contemporary expression. And the right side is uh, Yang Wo, a Vietnamese uh, artist, who was grown up as a refugee in Sweden. So these three artists uh, what left their place to the deep and another destination for various reasons. And however, in their long period of the pro 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 process, they, 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 they really use their experience, cultural experience, to contribute to, to this kind of, we call the international contemporary expression. Next slide. We also want to show a journey of the very, very established senior artist Nanini Mane Manini, who was born in Pakistan in India and, and in her like almost, 70, uh, almost 80 years of time from hand painting animation to Instagram, really reflected the different uh, the media of the media moving image as well this kind of the um, different uh, culture crisis, job political crisis. 
So we want to use the four artists at the end of my presentation that uh, from day one, um, M Plus is going to commit it to be an international museum to unpacking this kind of the pattern, the rotation of the uh, very exciting um, art landscape in our time. And we just found like that is also the great ending that we can really focus on the future, like current generation and with very strong historical press 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 pack so that's my presentation thank you Thank you very much, Mr. P. Parasite, 1996. Uh, in uh, Hong Kong's uh, various, uh, you know, the fine arts uh, institution, and uh, under the uh, current, uh, you know, the situation, uh, the uh, role and, uh, you know, the uh, of uh, M plus uh, was uh, clearly explained. And uh, in the last year's opening, uh, you know, the exhibition, I think the series is still going on. Uh, most of them are utilizing uh, its collection, uh, and uh, even among them, uh, the international theme. Uh, and uh, you know the, how do you incorporate and uh, find and curate uh, the uh, international uh, you know the nature? I was very much interested in and uh, personally, uh, you know that I would like to visit them plus uh, very much, uh, you know the uh, in. Uh, the, uh, we would like to, uh, you know, they ask him about them plus uh, more in the discussion part. Next, Ms. Pak Ju Um. So, uh, good afternoon. I'm Joan Park from the National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art. Um, let me start. Today, um, I'm going to introduce uh, our institution and the uh, project that I'm leading. Uh, since 2017. Um, I don't know how many of you have visited um, our museum, uh, but some of people kind of feel that um, MMCA, the brand name itself, is not that familiar. Uh, but then our museum has been um, there uh, since 1969. But MMC, this name itself, um, came out really recently. Uh, we started 1969 uh, as a Doksugung Art Museum. And then in this building, we moved to um, 1973. And we start calling this museum as a National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art. So actually, uh, we have uh, four branches under the name of MMCA, and this is uh, where MMCA Doksugung is, the oldest branch, I would say, uh, and it is inside uh, the palace. So it was the very first um, museum branch uh, among the MMCA. So um, we started um, showing our collections here, and then it was more to focus on uh, writing Korean art history from there. And now we have three other branches uh, under MMCA. So this branch is more focused on the exhibitions uh, before 1960s. Uh, I'll say we are more focused on uh, modern period time um, at MMCA Doksugung. And this is MMCA Kwachan. Uh, which is located um, one hour away uh, from MMC Seoul that I'm gonna explain in the next slide. Um, it was a kind of concept of the museum in the nature. So the museum is located in the middle of the mountain and it opened in 1986. Uh, so after the uh, two years of the opening of the museum, uh, there was a big event in Korean history, which is um, 1988 Seoul Olympic. Uh, to celebrate this, um, we invited Nam Jun Pak to uh, make a big commission work. And this is the uh, work called The More, The Better. And it is consists of uh, 1,003 
TV monitors. Uh, it's all the TV screens called the CTR. Um, and it was running until 2018. Um, but then uh, the TV screens, maintaining the old TV screen is really difficult. So we had to stop running it in 2018. So we took four years to um, renovate the work. So actually, last week, we opened this again. So if you come visit MMC Kwachon now, you can see our newly renovated uh, Namjoon Park's big commission work. So MMC Kwachon has been um, uh, headquarters uh, for the MMC for 30 years. Um, but then uh, we found as we are keep expanding, we are uh, running off these spaces. And also we had a lot of complaint uh, from the visitors that um, it is not really easy to access because it is in the middle of the mountain. So to see the exhibition, you really have to take a long journey. So for that, um, we decided to open MMC Seoul. So now MMC Kwachon is more focused on um, archive and research. So it is a, uh, we are offering a very uh, quiet research um, center. So there are like private rooms and also you have a chance to uh, study MMC collection there. So, and also there is a storage at MMC Kwachon. So uh, we can always um, keep our collections there. And this is MMC Seoul, which is open 2013. And it, from there, like we start using a name MMCA. Before that, it was just a National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art. Uh, and this museum is in the center of Seoul, exactly in the middle of this Seoul. And it's very easy to access. And uh, we wanted to make this building as an open museum so anyone can just walk in and um, look at the, the project. Uh, it was one of the uh, main goal. And also uh, from the MMC Seoul, what we wanted to do is uh, to make it more accessible. So we wanted to engage uh, more international exchanges. So at the moment, uh, among the uh, four different uh, MMC branches, uh, we are um, holding uh, most of uh, international projects at MMC Seoul. We have a, a huge square, um, so this space uh, make us to um, create a, a big commission works. This is uh, by Hegyu Yang, and this is from Yang Jian Group. And recently, we had a, a grand solo show of Hitos Shire. And this is the last branch, uh, which is called MMC Cheongju. Uh, we found it uh, in 2018. And as I mentioned uh, before, all these four branches has uh, their own characters. And this is uh, more for Open Stories Museum. Uh, before it was a cigarette factory, so it has a huge space to uh, store the um, collections. And then we renovated into um, a museum. And this place is around two hours away from the uh, Seoul. So, but like we have a shuttle bus connects all the branches. So if you visit, uh, maybe if you start from MMC Kwachon and you can uh, make a tour to each branches. And this is how the uh, new MMC Cheongju look like. Um, this building itself is a collection storage, but like some of part is open to the public. So people just come in to the storage and then look at the collections. So this is not really an exhibition like display, but um, it is showing the process of the uh, our preservations and restoring works and so on. So people even can look at how our um, members are working at this studio. And sometimes we show um, before and after of the um, 
the condition of the works so people can um, easily understand how the uh, artwork can be preserved and restored. So this is the end of the um, brief introduction of uh, four different branches of the MMCA. And I come back to the MMCA soul. That's because I've been working for uh, this branch since 2017. And um, I want to introduce one of the our long-term uh, research projects called um, Asia Focus. So uh, in 2017, MMC uh, decided to um, study more on the region, Asia. So we um, curated diff many different uh, programs like exhibitions, film studies, and uh, research and collections. Um, so I was in charge of the exhibition part. So since 2017, I've been curating uh, three different exhibitions under the, na uh, the theme of uh, MMC Asia project. So uh, to initiate this uh, project, um, I've been thinking um, uh, of uh, one question, which is what is the role of the public museum? Um, because MMC um, is is a public museum run by the government, so I th I thought it is uh, very necessary to um, consider whenever I have to make any projects, like how the public is gonna perceive the uh, project that we make. It was one of the key uh, questions that uh, I had to lead all these uh, projects. So this is the, um, the keywords that I thought. The museum has to be op open for all and a place for gathering and bringing inspirations. Um, in Seoul is a, is a big city um, and I was walking around the city and then I realized that like whenever I go, I have to um, pay for the space to occupy it. Um, and then that actually um, make a big gap between the social status and the economical uh, conditions. But I kind of found it interesting that um, in the museum, when I come into the museum, um, in the gallery, there are all different generations and all different social status and economic uh, conditions people have because we are inviting students, sometimes grandmother, grandfathers, uh, who is just living neighborhood and patrons and collectors. I found it very interesting that like I barely see a space where all these uh, different type of people are gathered. So I thought it, would be the very good opportunity to um, open up a conversation so that all these different people um, start exchanging what they are thinking and what they are doing. So could you play the... This is the first edition on uh, 2018. And once I have a... Uh, the keyword Asia Focus from the museum uh, to initiate the different exhibition programs. Uh, the first question is, so where is Asia and who is Asian? <laughs> like I couldn't really define the Asia, the world itself. So as the first question, I start um, asking this question to the um, artists and myself. And as you all know, it is impossible to define it in a word. <laughs> so, and then uh, during this first edition, I realized that actually I don't know much about Asia. And then uh, what is the idea of Asia? So that's how I um, ask a question to the people that um, we are familiar of some of the uh, conditions or ide ideas or concept but actually we don't know much and not only me, like even others. So we should start learning about um, ourselves. That was the um, key idea of the 
2018 exhibition. And as I mentioned about the, the role of the public museum, um, the concept, um, I also wanted to bring this uh, to the exhibition. So we were learning um, many different um, workshops. So this is one of the workshops that we were initiating uh, with the Ruang Rupa. And I pre in previous slide I showed uh, the square space at MMC Seoul. Uh, that space allows us to actually making a different uh, public engaged programs. So Ruang Rupa came to uh, Seoul, but the project itself was not only run by the Ruang Rupa. They also um, called uh, local artists who are working in Seoul, and then we made a huge collaboration all together. And some of um, uh, projects, we opened a kitchen and then spirit uh, bar. Um, this The kitchen is um, created from the artist Elia Nuvesta from, from Indonesia. And this uh, spirit bar is made from the Taiwanese artist. His name is uh, Huang Po Chi. So it was kind of big challenge for us that as a public museum, like cooking and drinking alcohol in a museum space, um, it, it was never really happened before. So I had to um, overcome a lot of restrictions from the administration and everything, but then it was really meaningful that um, we are sharing food and drinking together. And then it was not just about uh, cooking things. Uh, we give them a, a question that, like, like for example, like where where is Asia? What do you think the Asia is, or um, what is the identity defines yourself? Like those kind of questions we we ask, and then um, the publics came to the museum, and then they uh, created their own thoughts through the kitchen and the bar. <laughs> And this is the uh, second edition um, called the Looking for Another Family. And from the uh, first edition, we found uh, building a new relationship to understand what is happening around us um, and who we are is really important. Yeah, could you play that? So from there, like I focused on the keyword relationship and then I was asking a question that who is your family? And what is the shape of the family? Like family, uh, the, the word itself is also very familiar to us. But then um, I wanted to say that like there are um, different um, aspects of uh, family uh, to be in a relationship. Um, and also family might have a uh, like mostly have a positive uh, images, but then maybe negative images. And then who is actually your family member? Um, it doesn't have to be uh, in a, your blood tide, but as long as you know each other very well and then care for each other, I think we might can call it as a family. So um, the the word family from, from the word uh, we start asking those questions together. And this is uh, one of the um, exhibition part. Um, this is called Korea Queer Archive by the Korean artist Kang Seung Lee. And the concept of the exhibition, as I said, um, this museum space always have to be very comfortable and easy to access. So I uh, just made a kind of living room lounge in the gallery. And then we collected all the um, different uh, materials on Korean queer. And like those kind of ideas are some still in Korea, some people are not really familiar with, but then like staying um, in a very comfortable living room, um, reading all these literatures and publication about um, what is um, queer or queerness in Korea. Um, people were kind of 
um, not feeling so uncomfortable to read through it. So I think it was one of the very successful projects in the gallery. And also we uh, opened another um, workshops running during the exhibition. And then I always wanted to use the space which is not only a gallery, um, but a common spaces like hallway or squares. So people don't really have to pay for um, coming in the gallery, but they can still uh, participate in some of the workshop for free. And this uh, second edition, 2020, um, Looking for Another Family is again very meaningful for me. That's because it taught me how to make an exhibition during pandemic. So this exhibition supposed to open early 2020, but then uh, pandemic declared. At the time, I'm sure none of us would know how to manage making exhibition. Um, because the shipping was like out of control and no one could really gather and work together in the museum space. So we uh, made a space for display, but we couldn't bring, bring any works during that time. So um, the show was postponed. Then like artists were very frustrated that like they worked hard for the um, exhibition, but nothing can be shown. So what I did was I just opened the, the projector and then called the artist who supposed to sub participate in the exhibition. And then we just shared how we feel. Um, so we were just throwing the simple question like, how are you? And then uh, they start explaining what they are facing um, at the time. So. Uh, by the countries or by the cities where they are, like the whole situation was very different and some of um, things we never really heard from the uh, media. Then um, sharing all these um, memories and then problems, uh, we kind of have a very strong emotional um, relationship, we could, we could um, build it together. So somehow I was feeling um, it was maybe the most meaningful project uh, in the exhibition looking for another family because somehow in the end we, we, we said like we found another family. Um, so this is how we met together. And then actually there was a no opening reception for this exhibition, but I did a um, like, I just hold my uh, mobile phone and then invited all the artists and then we did a online opening reception <laughs> by ourselves. And um, it was really um, touching moment for me. And actually this exhibition is supposed to open for 93 days, but we could open only like 36 days. So like only 30% of exhibition period could be um, managed. That's because the museum and the country didn't really know how to control the pandemic situation. So they said, yeah, open the museum and close the museum. So it was keep just changing. So what I did was wherever <laughs> the museum opens, uh, vis visitors come and then leave a note of um, what they feel because I kind of felt really meaningful to having a conversation with the artist uh, in the empty gallery. So there are a lot of people uh, leave the note of what they are facing uh, during the early stage of pandemic. And um, I collected all these notes and then I think it became a really um, good archive. And it is not just for an archive, like someone uh, write something and then the other person came and they reply on it <laughs> and the other reply on it. So somehow randomly they start making a conversation in the museum. So I, I found it this is really interesting as well. So in the end, um, I just um, projected what we have done in the gallery. So I could make it 
I mean, finally I could make a show uh, which looks perfect, but then I uh, dedicated one gallery space to show whole process of the exhibition. Um, because I thought it is the uh, really a uh, key part of the exhibition. So somehow uh, in my museum, like we are more obsessed to making a uh, like perfect gallery display. But um, in this kind of special moment, I thought uh, sharing these emotions and um, uh, thoughts and experiences is more important than just showing this work. And this is the last edition, and it will finish in two days. Um, it is called uh, Terracotta Friendship, and this project is now a part of Documenta 15. Uh, so we uh, created a, a metaverse exhibition to bridge um, two different cities, Seoul and Kassel. And actually, I planned this since 2020. Like during the pandemic, I thought of um, making physical exhibition is really <laughs> not stable. But like, how do we uh, keep those conversations sustainable? So uh, I uh, thought of um, this idea of metaverse uh, exhibition. And it was a good opportunity for me that um, since it's very hard to connect uh, to uh, cities uh, which is very far away in Germany and Korea. So I made it, I could make this chance. And Terracotta Friendship, um, it was also along to the main theme of the Documenta 15. Um, as you can understand, uh, from the word terracotta is very organic and flexible material. And friendship, we call it friendship, maybe it sounds very naive, but um, somehow I felt like most of uh, society or system somehow um, managed through the friendship. It depends on how you define it, um, friendship but it is not only about um, the relationship between individuals like friends and friends, but friendship could be um, the even bigger, um, just trust uh, someone or help each other or care each other, like those kind of actually relationships makes things happen. And we created a full uh, different meta pavilion in the metaverse. Uh, so as still um, this is running, I should have uh, brought the link, but um, you can explore the words um, from uh, the created by the artist. And then it is great that um, these pavilions can keep growing uh, and we can add another questions in that, I think, which is very interesting. And then during the Metaverse exhibition, we also had an online uh, forum together. So each artist um, giving their own interpretation on the Terracotta friendship, and then uh, they introduced um, their products. So this is uh, how it was made. And as I said, um, the museum really has to be a platform um, to inspire people and gathering different um, thoughts to view the world in a different way. Um, I know during the pandemic, and, and we are still not really overcome this situation, but then like nothing um, than art can really uh, slowly uh, and smoothly inspire people um, to change things. So that's what I believe, and then I'm continuing this series of the uh, project. Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you very much, Ms. Park Jong. I thought uh, the, the NMCA now has four museums. And uh, Chongju, uh, you talked about the open storage. Actually, 
I think that uh, you already have a plan for the fifth museum, right? Yes, uh, we are opening MMC Taejeon very soon. Um, I think it's going to be in two years. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, so they have the plan for the fifth museum, the South Korea situation. Uh, the, uh, particularly the situation of MMCA now, I think you understood it. And uh, he talk, she talked about the uh, her project, Asia Focus project of the MMCA. Uh, well, as uh, she mentioned the importance of the public nature of public museum, and I think that uh, many of you are working for, uh, for the public museum. So the public nature, I think actually, uh, and we always have to uh, have that word in mind as we continue our work as a creators. And also during the pandemic, uh, she shared how struggling it was, but she was able to utilize online uh, technologies. And that is exactly the same what is happening in our uh, countries and museums. So uh, we actually uh, find a lot of commonality between what she shared and also our, uh, our practices. And uh, also the metaverse uh, they, that connected the castle and the soul. I think this is also an interesting and innovative way. Thank you very much uh, for uh, your presentation. Now, Ms. Furuichi, please. Uh, good afternoon. This is Furuichi. Uh, in the symposium, uh, and the, I usually are, you know, the organizing side of the symposium or the, you know, the uh, workshop. Uh, so, you know, I prepared my script today. Uh, sorry if I was not uh, looking at you in uh, in the eyes. I uh, will thank you very much for uh, giving me an opportunity uh, to, uh, you know, to speak before you. Uh, you know, I'd like to thank organizers and the staff who contributed to the preparation. Uh, due to pandemic, uh, uh, for the past three years, I couldn't go, you know, the, scarcely anywhere. And, uh, you know, the, I was motivated to talk in person with many of you, and that's why I decided to accept the invitation. Uh, the M plus and the Korean uh, new uh, unity you know, uh, attempt of the museum. I was wondering, uh, you know, the more than 30 years ago when I uh, started uh, the uh, work in 19, uh, you know, the 90, you know, the uh, within the Asia, uh, such a movement or the dynamic, uh, you know, the movement uh, uh, was not, uh, you know, the imagined. Uh, so uh, the Japan Foundation had uh, certainly. Uh, made uh, the contribution to the you know the today's uh, active and dynamic scene of uh, the you know the art here i wanted to talk uh, more however because of time is because time is limited i'd like to focus on uh, the collaborative work uh, this uh, uh, the, although Japanese word kyodo uh, sounds uh, the same as joint, but uh, I'd like to focus on the collaborative work and the projects among the curators. Uh, the Japan Foundation's, uh, you know, the uh, work uh, sometimes uh, overlaps with uh, the museum. Today, I understand that the many uh, representative museums are here. Although some of uh, the uh, projects look similar, however, the Japan Foundation had uh, the uh, different mission from that of museum, which is international exchange. And although I have retired, uh, you know, the, from uh, the uh, you know the Japan Foundation uh, post, but uh, I would like to share with you what I learned. Uh, from my career uh, and, uh, you know, the, from my personal perspective. Uh, well, this is uh, the uh, introductory remark. And uh, maybe uh, some of you do not know uh, the uh, Japan Foundation and uh, its Asian Center's uh, function. So let me briefly, uh, you know, the recap what uh, the Japan Foundation and the Asian Center. Uh, the uh, Japan Foundation was established in uh, 1972 as the special corporation under the MOFAR, a Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs. So this is exactly the 50th anniversary of the foundation uh, from the very beginning uh, the uh, you know the exchange with Asia was uh, deemed to be most important 
Uh, you know, the, since uh, 1917, ATPA, or the Asian Traditional Performing Arts uh, Project, has been conducted every three years. And in 1987, uh, dispatching the Southeast Asian Large uh, you know, the, uh, Cultural Mission, and uh, based on their recommendation, uh, the uh, foundation decided to establish the ASEAN Cultural Center. And request the budget. Uh, as a result, uh, you know the uh, the first uh, you know the office was uh, uh, you know the established on the third floor of uh, the uh, you know the certain commercial building. Uh, in the, in uh, January 1990, uh, the uh, ASEAN Cultural Center was formally inaugurated. Uh, if you say ASEAN today. Uh, you know the ASEAN. You know the consists of uh, you know the ten countries today. But in 1990, uh, the members of the ASEAN was uh, you know the six countries: Indonesia, Singapore, Philippines, Brunei, Malaysia, Thai. Uh, the mission of the ASEAN Cultural Center is uh, the uh, you know the introduce uh, the uh, South Asian contemporary arts and culture in uh, Japan, and to renew. The Japanese general public perception of the Southeast Asia and deepen their understanding. Uh, for the you know the fine arts, uh, you know the, we focus on the introduction of uh, then contemporary arts. And my you know the work started uh, in 1995. That was uh, the uh, 50th anniversary of uh, the end of the Second World War, uh, and the Japanese government, uh, you know, they is uh, you know they trying to promote uh, the exchange with Asia and Pacific, and expanded uh, J Japan Foundation, the Asian Cultural Center, uh, you know the. Uh, that was, uh, you know, they expanded to ASEAN, uh, you know, the cultural center. Uh, the, uh, you know, the, the uh, target area was expanded, uh, you know, the largely uh, ranging from the Mongol uh, China to the east and uh, the, uh, you know, the Pakistan to the east. Uh, so, you know, the, uh, it was uh, largely expanded and uh, the initiative and project was also expanded. Uh, the uh, intellectual exchange and uh, the, uh, you know, Japan, uh, you know, the domestic, uh, you know, the uh, projects, uh, two, uh, you know, sections were uh, made. Uh, the uh, contemporary arts introduction was succeeded by uh, the, uh, you know, the uh, domestic or the Japanese, uh, you know, the um, domestic program. Uh, the uh, One of the Asian centers' uh, objective is, uh, or the purpose is, uh, to uh, you know, promote uh, the mutual understanding uh, through the dialogue and uh, the exchange with uh, the uh, different levels of the Asian uh, you know, the, uh, regions. Uh, and also it is not uh, one way, but uh, the, uh, you know, the mutual you know, the exchange. And another mission was uh, uh, to promote uh, the uh, joint uh, project to solve uh, the uh, common issues of Asia. Therefore, uh, the um, I continue to have uh, the uh, role of introducing uh, Asian uh, arts in Japan, but also, uh, you know, the uh, to promote uh, the uh, you know the exchange through uh, the uh, art within the Asian uh, larger Asian region and uh, the uh, you know the uh, collaborative work or the joint planning project uh, you know the came, became part of it and uh, later on in Asian Center due to the organizational change uh, was uh, you know the uh, disorganized or the you know the disbanded uh, uh, you know due to the Japan Foundation's uh, re, uh, you know the structure and uh, the uh, actual project and uh, the uh, professional staff uh, were, uh, you know, they transferred to uh, the, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the. Uh, Corresponding uh, sections. I myself was uh, transferred to the cultural, you know, the project uh, individual art team, and the, uh, uh, you know, the. Asian, uh, you know, the Pacific team, uh, the name of the, you know, the uh, organization changed to the uh, art uh, exchange, you know, the team or the, you know, the 
a cultural project uh, team in, uh, for Asia and Pacific. However, uh, the uh, content of the work or the role of the work, uh, you know, they remain the same to introduce uh, the, uh, you know, the uh, Asian, uh, you know, the uh, culture and uh, the arts uh, to Japan. Uh, and uh, the other way around be also become my responsibility to, uh, you know, the, uh, introduce Japanese arts and culture to the, uh, you know, the Asian uh, region. So, uh, you know, the, both the export and the import uh, came uh, under my responsibility. Uh, 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 through uh, which uh, the uh, you know the uh, focus of uh, the uh, you know the uh, exchange with Asian and uh, the concrete project uh, the uh, you know the cultural wa wa means uh, the uh, both the ring and uh, the uh, harmony uh, the from April 2014 to 2020 uh, seven years long term you know the project or the initiative uh, was uh, you know the uh, set uh, to the uh, new Asian Center that was founded in the foundation. Uh, so, you know, the, until very recently, uh, that, uh, you know, the organization was there. Uh, and uh, it was, uh, you know, actually finally disbanded in the March 2022. Uh, so, Asian Center, again, was dissolved, uh, you know, the but uh, I was already, you know, they retired uh, then, so I do not uh, have the details, uh, you know, the uh, facts or that, you know, the uh, um, transition uh, on, on uh, that uh, last days. So anyway, the new Asian centers uh, is uh, focusing on the, uh, you know, the bilateral or the mutual exchange of uh, the uh, fine arts and culture. Uh, therefore, uh, you know, the, we have uh, the uh, kind of equal footage uh, on with uh, the Asian, uh, you know, the counterparts. Uh, the purposes, uh, you know, the, of uh, the uh, major initiatives or the project are as follows. Uh, the uh, starting 1990, the uh, promotion of the Asian, uh, you know, the uh, fine arts or the visual arts understanding in Japan, and uh, former, you know, the Asian centers uh, responsibility, uh, making a network in within the Asian region and promote uh, the exchange, you know, the. Uh, there were about uh, three uh, unit objectives in my unit you know, own work. Uh, the uh, you know the professional network in Asia, and uh, the formation of uh, the critics uh, forum and the discourse uh, on uh, Asian uh, you know the visual arts, and uh, to uh, you know they develop uh, the uh, supporters and uh, the uh, you know the viewers or the you know the uh, in uh, the uh, next generation uh, related to the. Asian, you know, the arts. Uh, and from, uh, you know, the 2005 to 2013, uh, this, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the former, uh, you know, the work also continued. And as you can see, some of the, you know, the concrete examples, the uh, Asian contemporary art exhibitions, uh, and uh, by country, by region, by theme, and uh, you know the solo, uh, you know the exhibitions of different forms were, you know, adapted. Uh, but uh, you know the exhibitions themselves were held on a continuous basis. Uh, another. Uh, it's uh, the uh, curatorial collaboration that I said that I will focus on that starting from the 2000 uh, and, uh, you know, the, throughout uh, the new Asian center period lasted until 2020. And uh, I talked about uh, the uh, discourse formation and the critique uh, fola uh, and the international symposium and workshops were held every two to three years for that purpose until 2008 on a regular basis. However, uh, it was suspended for some time. And after that, uh, the uh, curator's uh, you know, the workshop in the Adian region in a little more a smaller scale was held. Uh, and also through the process, uh, the uh, publication uh, and uh, you know, the archives uh, were uh, recorded uh, or the uh, 
developed uh, as an outcome, uh, like uh, the web archives and uh, guidebook uh, you know, editions. Uh, the, the publication uh, was also you know, part of my jobs. And then the third one, uh, the uh, Japanese uh, or the, you know, the art uh, you know, the, uh, exhibition in Asia uh, between 2003 to 2013. The details uh, you can see, uh, if you are interested in, uh, is on our website. Uh, and uh, so, so please, uh, you interested, please uh, take a look at the website. So now I came to my main theme of today, promoting uh, the engagement and exchange in Asian region. And that is a curatorial collaboration project. And these were the list of the uh, you know the events that were held. There are two major you know the periods. I uh, aforementioned the organizational change. The former Asian Center, uh, you know, the, is written in a lead letter in the beginning of the 2000s. Uh, we can call it in the first phase of the, you know, the curatorial collaboration. The blue, you know, the letter is uh, starting from a little before uh, the establishment of the new Asian Center and in between is uh, the uh, you know the Japan Foundation's uh, you know the arts exchange you know the department uh, sponsored or the organized events in the gray letter uh, well uh, there are many projects so uh, first I'd like to focus on the under construction the very first project and uh, the uh, cubism in Asia that uh, you know the uh, you know the tells uh, the organizational collaboration and among uh, the new Asian Center, you know, the, uh, you know, the event, uh, condition report. So I will focus on these three today. First, uh, in the year to early 2000s, there were three, uh, you know, the, uh, projects or the events under construction in uh, over three years. And you can see uh, the member countries, uh, China from uh, uh, P uh, is the first participant, uh, you know, the, and uh, India, uh, uh, Ranjit, and uh, Indonesia uh, from Japan, uh, Mr. Mikamiya and uh, Mr. Uh, Yamamoto, and from Korea. Uh, Kim Son Jan, uh, Patrick Flores from the Philippines, and uh, uh, Kritia Kavivon from Thailand. Uh, they are all, uh, you know, they're playing uh, the uh, major leading roles, uh, you know, they in uh, each, uh, you know, they of their countries. And out the window, uh, the, from China, uh, Li Jianfar and uh, Sumitomo from Japan, and uh, the uh, Jin Sak from Korea. Have we met from India, Fumya Sudo, the Ade Dalma one from Indonesia and uh, you know the from Japan you know the uh, translator uh, you know the Halko or you know the Kono uh, then she was a curator uh, she, and uh, I forgot to uh, um, write time Pram Dai Yun from Thailand uh, you know, they, he is now the film director. So, you know, they, these are, you know, they are the resources that, uh, you know, they uh, come under the project. Next, uh, this is the under construction picture in Indonesia, uh, you know, as Moda, as uh, Galilee. Out of the window. Out of the, on the window, this is uh, the uh, Japan Foundation Forums uh, event. Have we met? This also was organized by the forum. Under construction, okay, come back to the under construction. Uh, it was a three-year project starting from the year 2000, uh, planning research, and then followed by the local exhibitions, uh, then uh, the second round of planning and research, and uh, finally it was concluded with the collective exhibitions, uh, you know, the uh, gathering all local exhibitions and, uh, you know, the uh, made uh, the uh, final collective uh, exhibition in Tokyo. 
And this is the important part.、Uh, the, uh, when I listened to you know, Ms. Park's presentation, I you know, the, I thought,、uh, you know, the, oh, it is. You know, the, the theme was、uh, what is Asia?、Uh, in the year 2000,、uh, for young generations, I think I'm repeating what she said. Okay. What is the actuality of the concept of Asia for the young generation? And what is Asia? You know, the,、uh, so that became the over. Arcing a theme for the project, and、uh, each you know, the member, participating member,、uh, t h i n k their own answer and express it、uh, in their local exhibition. That process itself is、uh, under construction, and that became the title of the project. This is the first half of、uh, the uh, schedule. And if you can read it, please.、Uh, the、uh, first working seminar was、uh, held in the, you know, the summer in the 2000. And uh, the uh, members from the Asia, curators from the Asia, you know, they got together and、uh, you know, they each one、uh, you know, they prepared their you know, assignment of what they think is the Asia. But、uh, you know, it didn't uh, you know, they, uh, come uh, you know, long because、uh, you know, they. Didn't have the, you know, the kind of、uh, you know, the experience of visiting other Asian countries. And the question, what is Asia, is a kind of uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, misleading. And, uh, but uh, the, uh, the director gave the budget, and、uh, each member、uh, can plan the, you know, the two weeks or the ten days or two weeks field trip for the researches.、Uh, the China was also the member, and、uh, including those countries,、uh, they visited different Asian countries and、uh, you know, they made the first hand、uh, you know, the researches or the experience. And then they bring back、uh, their you know, the research results and、uh, had、uh, the、uh, second round of Of, uh, the uh, you know, their meeting, and uh, then uh, they, you know, they kind of、uh, revise what they first thought as an idea of the local exhibition in answering uh, the uh, what is the Asia question.、Uh, this is the second uh, you know, the workshop. Uh, you know, the, Uh, quite a picture. You can see they are all clad in the warmer clouds because it was held in the winter. We have Dr. P and Tatehatu, Mr. Mizusawa, and、uh, you know, the, these three you know, the persons in this、uh, under construction project uh, you know, the, uh, they uh, played uh, the role of advisors, especially、uh, Nanjo was a moderator uh, and uh, you know, they contributed to the,、uh, you know, the uh, program very much. These members gathered together, and、uh, the, in the second meeting,、uh, the、uh, title of the total you know, the project framework was discussed. It was a very interesting meeting, and、uh, finally, it was decided to be under construction.、Uh, but、uh, another candidate of the title was、uh, the buzzword then remix.、Uh, And we had uh, the, uh, you know, the uh, majority uh, voting, and then it uh, 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 came out as a four by four.、Uh, so uh, we had a debate. You know, the, uh, the, uh, each team tried to persuade、uh, the other, and、uh, as a result, uh, two of uh, the uh, remix team uh, were persuaded and、uh, were talked into the under construction. What I was、uh, interested in was that、uh, the response of uh, the uh, English title uh, so is uh, different uh, you know, the,、uh, due to the difference of the sensitivity to the language. You know, the, some of them uh, using uh, English as the Their, you know, the daily language, but、uh, not the others. Uh, and uh, the sensitivity to the language and the interpretation is、uh, different. So I thought that、uh, the cultural background was also reflected on、uh, their choice and discussion. But in out of three days' workshop, uh, this uh, title discussion、uh, took two days. It's not productive. But anyway, the、uh, consensus was、uh, you know, the built.、Uh, and that's what、uh, you know, the anti construction means. And And、the、uh, final, you know, the collective exhibition was,、uh, you know, decided to be,、uh, you know, the hosted in Tokyo.、Uh, the,、uh, you know, the forum is、uh, uh, now space is 
limited. So we talked to you know Ms. Kataoka and uh, uh, utilizing uh, you know let them uh, let us use the Opera City spaces. So the Japan Foundation and uh, the uh, Opera City uh, you know co-sponsored uh, the uh, final. Uh, in his program, and Ms. Ida also became the member from uh, the, you know, the uh, next round. I myself, these are, uh, uh, you know, the collaborative curation is, uh, you know, the interesting part, and in including the difference of the cultural background, the language, uh, you know, the background, how we can exchange the ideas, uh, you know, the understanding mutually, and to make the consensus. You know, the uh, there are many things that was uh, called uh, collaborative uh, or that you know the cooperative, but uh, you know that true in an its true sense, like a uh, working together, sharing the experience, uh, and that process itself, I think, uh, is uh, the essential part of the collaboration, and that uh, will uh, you know the uh, neuter a very strong solidarity among them that last uh, you know the lifetime or through throughout their career. Therefore, uh, the Kyodo, Japanese Kyodo, uh, is used in the mean of the collaboration. And also, uh, you know, the all you know, the members need to be on the, you know, the same, uh, you know, the uh, ground or, you know, the uh, on equal footage. Uh, and uh, that's uh, why we decided to, you know, to use uh, English uh, as the major, you know, the means of uh, the uh, communication and the title. Uh, here are several, you know, the uh, in local, uh, you know, the exhibitions. Uh, in, each has its own uh, theme. Uh, in uh, Uh, you can uh, see uh, the uh, Japanese exhibition, local exhibition title. Uh, this is uh, the Yamamoto's, uh, you know, the, uh, he was uh, with uh, the Ashia, you know, the museum then. And, uh, you know, the Atsuko Tanaka and the uh, Filipino, you know, the creators, uh, you know, the uh, works were uh, curated uh, in the From Sea of Trees. Uh, was, uh, you know, the uh, curated Patrick Flores of uh, the uh, Philippines also collaborated uh, partially. Uh, now, this is uh, Kamiya Pili and Kim San Jones, uh, you know, the uh, tri, uh, you know, the party uh, in, uh, held in uh, Seoul and Beijing. It is a uh, Donga, uh, you know, the daily, uh, you know, the news, uh, you know, the printing uh, plant uh, site, which was not then uh, vacant. And that title was Fantasia. I made a tour to Beijing, uh, you know, the China. Uh, the uh, vision, you know, the, I think uh, Dr. Pili uh, found uh, the, uh, you know, the uh, space uh, in a very, you know, the big space, uh, but uh, the Chinese audience was uh, not uh, quite, or the Chinese uh, government was uh, not quite, uh, uh, you know, the accept uh, of uh, the uh, contemporary art. So um, probably uh, Dr. Pili had uh, the uh, greater difficulty and uh, the uh, struggled. Kritika won uh, the, you know, the local India, you know, uh, the Thai unit you know, creator participated. Uh, the uh, Kritia is uh, very, uh, you know, the witty and gifted in uh, making uh, the, uh, you know, the titles. Uh, this also is, uh, you know, they had a uh, the good title. This is under uh, constructions, uh, uh, you know, the uh, literally uh, recreation uh, dream project. Indonesian creators, uh, you know, they're all Indonesian creators, but in Indonesia, they say that there's no white cube for the contemporary art in Indonesia. So uh, he said that, uh, you know, the, uh, using uh, Suga Rios of the Bandung University's space, and he himself, uh, you know, the, uh, borrowed the money. Uh, he is uh, the personal potter, uh, and, uh, you know, the, in order to, uh, you know, they organize uh, this, uh, you know, the uh, exhibition, he made, uh, they made their own building, uh, the, uh, you know, the, this is not uh, the touring exhibition, but uh, Patrick Flores, uh, the CCP, uh, the uh, Cultural Center of the Philippines, uh, you know, there was a help. Lanjit Hoskote is the artist using the space in Mumbai, picking in space, was the name of the exhibition. And uh, you see Mr. Nanjo, at least his backside. And then, after those local exhibitions are over, we held third working seminar. And 
To prepare for the comprehensive exhibition, we have to make a plan. And two venues were planned for this comprehensive exhibition. So the using of these two different places has to be discussed at the third working seminar. And then we had the collective exhibition, which is called under construction. But before that, each curator for the local exhibitions has the budget of 15,000 US dollars. So that may sound small for you. However, back in those days, especially in Southeast Asia, this 15,000 US dollars was not a small money. So we were able to do the small projects with that money. And as I said, that budget was accommodated. Sometimes the local curator added some money by selling their own product. And Kamiya-san and other people distributed this money for the two different locations. And also, the artists were invited from the local, including the residence artist. So as much as possible, local production was adopted for these local exhibitions. And now, that working seminar was over, and then the final collective exhibitions, which was held in October in 2020. Two times we have made this under construction exhibitions. And Kataoka san was also one of the creators. Nine creators were participating, inviting 43 artists. And here, under construction. In the process of making it, the difference between the different artists or difference of the system of each company has been the challenging problem. It went well sometimes, it didn't well sometimes because of the conflicts among the different people. But overcoming these conflicts, the process was progressing. So process-oriented program has been ended in Tokyo after three years of preparation. So it's like the creators were graduating from the school after this exhibition is over. There was a sense of unity. There was a sense of a classmate belonging to the same year of the uh, school. I think these experiences had made a lot of contribution to the other careers of these people. And this is the group photo, getting all people together. And all these people are very young, but it's a pity that some, one of them have died already. So time has a way of passing. And now? So this is a side story. The first working seminar from Singapore, the Singapore Museum curator was participating in the first working seminar, but they dropped. They went away, and there was no communication after they dropped. No reply for the email, but we thought that they wanted to give up, so we didn't follow any further. However, if I recollect, if I think over this now, maybe the reason could be something like, compared to now, in the year 2000, in Singapore, Singapore-oriented Asian theory development was so active. Asian discourse from the Singapore viewpoint. And also, it's the same because the Japanese people or Japan-oriented discourse making for Asia. So this could be the reason for them to drop. Maybe they were so sensitive to this Japan leading this discussion or discourse. And also the curators dropped, did not come back to this project. However, in the Asian Cubism project or in the following curator development project, these two dropped the Singaporeans came back to us and they became the uh, part of the Japan Foundation programs after them. And now, what is Asia? I think it is very difficult to show Asia only with the exhibitions. Therefore, we added international symposium to the exhibitions. And then, so 
theoretical background explanation to the exhibition was the mission of the International Symposium. So this uh, representation and identity, the Asia flowing, is the title of the International Symposium. And Naoki Sakai, Tony Bennett, Wan Fi, or Glan Fumnama, those uh, sociologists or cultural study or cultural representation theorists, all the stage technique experts, all these people are getting together to have a discussion at the symposium. So the discussion from the multiple perspective was very exciting, and this symposium was a very timely event. So when we judge or define Asia, we will refer to the Sakai Naoki story. And Sakai Naoki was referring to this symposium when he talks about Asia. So I think this symposium was a very success with a good planning and a good theory. And then under construction going on, and while the under construction was going on, incidentally, we came up with this alternative, which is a guide for the cultural scene in Asia. Piri-san and Kamiya-san, these people were supporting the creation of these alternatives. <laughs> now, internet became available, mail became available, so instead of uh, exchanging the facts, the sharing of the uh, data was quicker than ever. So that was a good time for us to create these guidebooks. Starting from 1990s, we started to say that there is an art space in Asia, however, not many people were able to visit Asia, actually, so they needed some more information about Asia. But uh, the alternative spaces were short-lived back in those days. But this time, I think it was uh, time for us to create the alternatives. The yellow one is from the 2001, and 2005, from Tankosha Printing Company, we had this expanded version, including Australia and India. And the gold colored one, this was from 2008, an art guide to the Mekong area of Asia. So, 2001, well, in this documentary this year, Luag Luba was the art director and he was engaged in these 2001 alternatives. And Luang Luba, since these days, was very active keeping his pace. He's great. And so MMCA Museum has explained so far, for instance, Cubism in Asia, 2005. This was planned when we still had the Asian Center, and the, this was implemented after Asia Center disappeared. National Museum of Modern Art, Tokyo, National Museum of Contemporary Art, Korea, and the Singapore Art Museum, these three were getting together to organize this cubism in Asia. There were 76 artists participating from 11 countries, offering 120 works. And so this is about cubism in Asia. Tokyo, Seoul, Singapore, this exhibition toured. Now, cubism, in terms of the collaborative curation, how we set the common theme is a challenging part. And this time we have chosen Cubism coming from the Western landscape of art as a representative art wave of the 20th century. And then the artist from each country was changing Cubism into their own shape to hopefully identify the Asia unique music, excuse me, the art scene. And so here's a timetable. First, the Cubism art pieces. Do we have any Cubism art pieces in Asia? This is a question. So for collecting the uh, data information, we made a seminar inviting from Asian nations, including Sri Lanka. So we have collected these people who were able to talk about the cubism in Asia in the seminar in 2004. And then, based on that discussion in the seminar, 
the external experts and the internal experts started to do the research against the 10 nations in Asia. And then another symposium, another meeting, and then exhibition. This is a process. So the exhibition. This exhibition not only toured three nations, but also the revised version of the exhibition went to Paris in the place where Japan Foundation was some contribution. So the Cubism originally born in France came to Asia revived and then it then returned back to the original place of Cubism in Paris. To make a success out of this collaborative project, what is essential is to put all the people on the same level or equal footing. And then that means that the collective research is very important because in the collective research, everyone is looking at the same thing and everyone is looking at the same artwork. Everyone is sharing the same experiences. Everyone is involved in the discussions to collect the artist and the piece of art with uh, different opinions. Still, those people are able to go through the same process. And that process is very important. So here, the Cubism in Asia in the Modern Museum of Art, Matsumoto and Miwa-san, who is still here, are collating. And this is Dok-sugun, Dok exhibition. Kim Ihe was the curator. And so three nations were getting together. And in each nation, they have made a different catalog the Japanese English catalog in Japan and the Korean English catalog in Korea and in Singapore, Singapore Chinese version of the catalog. It seems that uh, back in those days, Singapore focused on the China language, Chinese language. So now the symposium, as you see now, Bart San was participating in the symposium. And here, the contemporary Japanese art exhibitions offered to Asia. This is using the budget from the 20 contemporary Japanese artists from Japan. And Kataoka-san, I think, was uh, helpful for us to have this exhibition in China. And now, Asian Cubism, after the Asian Cubism exhibition or the project was over, without Japan Foundation participating, it is possible that the museums collaborate with each other to start the initiative. So there should be a symposium inviting the curators from the museum, which we started from 2006, visiting different places one after another. Now, we have this government-based conference, which is quite different from the nature, the museum head mu uh, meeting we had in those days, and this is quite different in nature from the curators meeting, but this was held in the Philippines, Philippines Museum. And from 2006 to 2013, we have organized nine curators meeting. And here, so, we talked about the museum meeting or the museum head meeting or the curator meeting. Well, you had to pay your own money to go to the uh, meeting. And as a result, each conference was participated by different people from each year. So that was good because we are not able to deepen our discussion. So we wanted to do some improvement to this meeting, and while we are looking for the solution, the organizational change of the Japan Foundation caused this project to be stopped. And then, so to the latter half of the 
curatorial collaboration projects. We have several media art kitchen and the revised version Learn and Learn. And the revised version of the Learn and Learn is the condition report. And Time of Others, Rubensan, who is here, is involved in the Time of Others. And this is the museum to museum curatorial collaboration. And I will ask the uh, speaker tomorrow to speak about this time of others as a representative of the museum to museum collaboration project. And now we or I, while I'm doing the work for the cultural exchange division of the Japan Foundation, of course, my knowledge about the Japanese contemporary culture was deepened, but not so much for the Asian culture, especially the contemporary culture, which I did regret. So I thought that I had to go back to the uh, Asian local region. By accumulating the accurate information from Asia, we were able to do the better job in curating the projects for Asia. Now, we have the Asia Pacific team, which is newly organized in Japan Foundation. And we are refocusing in Asia. And also, the Asia Center was newly created. So as with these as a background, we thought that it's a high time for us to restart curatorial collaboration projects again. And next page. So media art kitchen, which I have mentioned, the image and timetable for the media art kitchen. The timetable is on the next page. So here we started with the meeting as we did in the past. And this project, initially the creators were getting together in Tokyo and with some revision, this exhibition toured a different cities, Jakarta, Kuala Lumpur. This is Jakarta, Jakarta, KL, Manila, and Bangkok. The exhibition toured these cities. And this is from Jakarta. Kanta Horio is doing the performance. And here, a slightly different version, which visited Kuala Lumpur. And this is the version in Manila. And finally, BACC, Bangkok Art and Culture Center, which was the final destination of this tour. <laughs> So, New Asia Center, the young staff from the Southeast Asian Office of the Japan Foundation exchanged opinions with us. They said that the in Southeast Asia, when the exhibitions were held, it's always in the capital of the country. But with the New Asia Center established, we should visit the local area or local city. The exhibitions go to the local area going beyond the capital area, so that sounded a good idea. So, learn and learn, the next one, they visited Indonesia, Philippines, Malaysia, Bangkok. So, with these offices, the four nations getting together to publicly invite the curators. And to go to the local area, I thought that the publicly Inviting a creator is very important instead of just we nominating the creators from our side. Therefore, so those creators applied from the local, they get together to do the workshop, and then the selected creators came to Japan to have more discussion to be ready for the local exhibition. So, learn and learn workshop which was held in Japan, Tokyo, 2014. I think Kataoka-san was making a lecture to those selected curators who were coming to Tokyo. <laughs> and here, Mayumi Hirano, the curator living in Manila, he, she curated this exhibition. And Jorin, the Mauritian girl who was the joint curator for Sun Shower, she did the creation for this Kuala Lumpur exhibition. And Penan, from Penan, Chiani, was the creator who did an excellent job. In Penan, 
there were many immigrants coming from Guangzhou of the mainland China, and there is a condominium lived by those Chinese people. Using this space as the、uh, stage two, the performance was held as a theatrical stage. So, this is an interesting project where everyone was showing their creative power. And next, Learn and Learn concluded the small scale exhibitions in each country and also the art scene unique to each local area, including the food or the culture. This is all inclusive in this guidebook. And Learn and Learn, and learn was the project. So, here, Indonesia version, but some here, I think you are engaged in this creation of the Indonesia version of the guidebook. So, the local curator and our office staff collaborated with each other to come up with this guidebook, sort of. Not just the capitals of the four nations, Malaysia, Penang, Kota Kinabaru, and the Sumeran Jogja in Indonesia, Chema in Thailand, these local cities were visited by these exhibitions as a result. So, here, this is an important point, which is about the condition report. Condition report timetable is on this page. The same process we have. Went through, gone through, excuse me. Now, we have added Hanoi to the four cities. So, altogether, five cities were the place of the workshops, and two or three curators were selected from a group of applicants of the curators, and then they were invited to Japan. And those invited to Japan were made into some different groups. And so here is the workshop which we have done in Kuala Lumpur. Hattori san and Supin are the mentors. In the middle, Afwan is from Singapore, the head of the Singapore University Museum. She's us an advisor. And also from Kuala Lumpur, two. Were selected as a creator and coming to Japan. They were going through the Japanese locations very quickly, and this is Matt in Nagoya. All of the、uh, participants got together in this one place. Now, four teams we had when they were in Tokyo, Jakarta, Kuala Lumpur, and Manila, Bangkok. So, There is a title attached to each room, each team, excuse me. And upper, you have the a list of the、uh, mentors. For instance, the Ida Shiho and Ade Dalmawan are the senior creators in Jakarta, and the main people are the junior creators collected from each local area. So these are the people who volunteered to come to this exhibition. By their own wish. And among the different teams, some teams are very popular and the others were not so popular. So we had to intervene and move people from one very busy team to another less busy team. So that's how we maintained the peace between the different teams. And 2016, those divided people. Would go to the、uh, different place for the research. For instance, Indonesia team went to Indonesia and Indonesian art landscape, art scene they have studied. Shiho Abe, you see here, so、uh, some of the advisors accompanied them. And then the senior exhibition was held first. And Syndicate、uh, Kempisai in Jakarta. And the Abe san and the Shiho san were the main people. 
supported by junior or calculators to organize the exhibition. And this is from the Kuala Lumpur. Hattori, Subin were the main calculators. Escape from the scene. And also Bangkok and Manila, we did the same thing. And in 2017, we met in Bangkok again after all the senior exhibitions were over to evaluate the senior exhibitions and also the planning for the local exhibitions curated by the junior people will be announced. And there is a censorship problem which we had to suffer. Dunlop's Club, Peace, shown at the Klalumpu, received a claim or complaints from the authorities, so we had to withdraw it, and there was some complaint coming from the local artist for the act of withdrawing the censored piece from the rest of the exhibitions. But anyway, the local exhibitions were held, and when you are in Japan, you do not know much about these local exhibitions. So our idea was to make a curator's book, the book about how the things circulated in Southeast Asia. And this book was published in English language. So here is one of the local exhibitions curated by junior curator. And this is a case from Manila. Lisa was doing the collection. And the Philippines, 70s, 80s of the Philippines, the socialist realism, excuse me, social realism movement of the Philippines in those days was revived as a theme for this local exhibition. And this one, Jakarta, Vayu, which is a national museum of art, was the place for the exhibition of the communist massacre uh, event in Indonesia in 2040s. So uh, this is something which is very close to be censored, but uh, this is one of the interesting projects to reopen the theme of the Indonesian art history. And this is the Adu Doro curated project in Surabaya. And also those Chinese immigrants coming from China started the Berber or beauty shop, and that barber or beauty shop were used as a tool for the performance. I think these people, including Adudu, are very creative people. And this is from Hanoi. Ue, very young female curator, curated this exhibition. This is the oldest movie-making studio in Hanoi. The latter half of the 80s was the time of the movement of Gang of Five, or urban guild movement, and those uh, artists belonging to the Gang of Five group back in those days were still active, and their images or their uh, art pieces of now were displayed. And then, so in each country, the project in each country was very interesting. So more than we have imagined, the East Asian creators' interest or their theme were very vividly explained by the exhibitions. The level of creation is much higher than we have expected. There are supplies. So instead of me teaching them, they are were teaching me, for which I am very thankful. And also, those people participated from Japan, Princess Lan Lan, Horiuchi, and the condition report, Nakamura-san, who is here, and Nakamura-san in Chiang Mai was very active in Chiang Mai. There was no office of the Japan Foundation, so she had to fight very hard to secure the space and to make a pamphlet. She was good enough to be able to produce the pamphlet. And now, we have to go quick now. So, and continued on this page. So, since we had these activities in Southeast Asia, at Waikam, the blessing of maps, which 
but something like a local expedition if the report was made as an event. So some of the scenes from that event. Now, finally, I have something to say as a summary. Now, again, this is the photo from Tokyo. I think you know those people already. So, as my final message, now, the collaborative curation, for instance, the under construction in the first half of the 2010s and the conditioning report of the latter half of the 2010s, there is a huge difference. As you can tell, so the end of the project sometimes was ended in Tokyo as a collective exhibition, and sometimes it was ended in Asian nations. So starting from Asia, ending in Asia, or starting from Tokyo, ending in Tokyo. These are the differences between the first half of the curatorial work and the latter half of the curatorial collaboration. Under construction, has the uh, remaining element from the 1990s. So those under construction in the latter ha uh, in the first half was concentrated in Tokyo. However, condition report in the latter half of 2010s started from Asia and ended in Asia. So, well, Japan and Southeast Asia in the condition report are sharing the same horizon, same perspective to establish the program. So, in other words, Japan and the other Southeast Asian nations, the current geopolitical balance between these two are well explained. It's not that we start from Japan and end from Japan. It is that we are starting from Asia and ending in Asia for the new phase. So personally, I like it very much. Personally, I think that this is a, this is a very timely problem to witness this change of the geopolitical balance between Japan and Southeast Asian nations. And also, one more thing, condition report theme was what was Southeast Asia? In the beginning of the 2000s, what was Asia was the question under, under construction. And this is not clearly defined as I said already. And also in Southeast Asia, it's not that political as ASEAN, but the Southeast Asia is the concept which was generated throughout the history. So the Japanese people ask this question, what do you mean by Southeast Asia? And blessing of Max was giving an answer. Well, 150th anniversary of the Meiji Federation was celebrated by Yamaguchi. So with that timing, what is Japan? was the question asked at the time of the blessing of maps. And Ho Chunen, Japan Trilogy, Voice of Void, and Hyaki Yako. So these trilogy programs was putting South Asia vis-a-vis -vis Japan. What is Southeast Asia? with the backland of Japan. So we do share the same concept. On the same stage of the modern Asia or contemporary Asia, the Asian people and Japanese people are placed on the equal footing to start the equal conversation. So that's the uh, importance which we have to take very positively in looking at the latter half of the collaborative curation program as a part of a cultural program. Sorry that we have spoken so much now. This is the uh, final slide, the challenges for the future. We have to continue doing this, so this is nothing new to you. So with tenacity, we have to continue with these four items because by doing so, I think we can discover new things. And this is something that I keep in mind when I am engaged in the projects. 
ありがとうございます。So thank you very much. 失礼します。Thank you for your attention. Thank you for the presentation. So it was more than we have expected, but through each son and audience and the people participating online, I think many of the people participated in her project, but there was no chance in the past to have a full explanation about what she has done. As a part of the Japan Foundation, so it's a good timing. We'd like to have five minutes break, and we'll be restarting from the、uh, 15:20. Five minutes short break. Thank you very much. We'll be starting from the 20 past three. Thank you very much. Hi. So,、uh, we have heard three speeches, presentations in the first half of the program from different perspectives, different organizations, in different contexts. And、uh, to some extent, I think there was some overlap among the three people, and therefore it was quite interesting. Now, I think uh, uh, from the, you know, Uh, the order of presentation, uh, Ms., uh, Mr. P. D. If you have any comments to the presentations of others, would like、yeah. to have it now. Yeah, thank you, Yuko-san.、Um, I have some、uh, very short comment. My first com, not a comment, more like a question to Joan. That's like,、uh, I just like、uh, when I see her great project about the focusation. That's really、um, make me re remind us like what we did like 20 years ago. <laughs> Sorry to say the year, and somehow I also wondering about like、uh, I always believe even in the time flowing we talk about the same topic, but for sure we are not repeat the same 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 topic. We must have some input and receive some more reaction.、Um, but I have one question to you that also based on my、uh, my experience in the last four years in Hong Hong Kong. In fact, I. Didn't have any chance to travel outside of Hong Kong for almost three years before this trip. So what I'm feel like my major concern was in Hong Hong Kong after protest and the pandemic, and it's quite like I just feel like these young people, like a general audience, they are so sucked with this with this kind of a, like a disappointment and the political protest. And the pand pand pandemic, and that also was in this kind of the pattern of the decolonization,、uh, deglobalization in the last ten ten years. The general atmosphere in town、uh, before M Plus was like people quite a lack of this kind of curiosity. They are just quite focused on the localism, local identity. So that become the big challenge for us when we open, when even before we prepare the museum. What I think present Hong 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 Kong and the, this kind of things. I have to say, the situation changed a lot after the museum open. So my question to you is that、uh, how the Korean audience, like young people,、uh, general audience and the artists. Uh, react on your program,、uh, especially in the last uh, uh, in 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 the in the quite a challenging time before the pandemic. Because I knew Korea also have some like in in domestic、uh, political con 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 conflicts in that time. Yeah, thank you.、Um, I don't know how it is in other institutions, but、um, for the MMC Seoul branch. Uh, most of major audiences they are in their twenties and thirties, so、um, we we haven't thought of like targeting them as a main audiences, but somehow、um, we feel they are looking for a, a place to、um, to meet. I guess I mean the museum space itself for them is not、uh, only for for art, but I think it became. Kind of a culture、um, in in Korean society. That, from my perspective, and、um, asking the question that where is Asia and who is Asian, like this question, I've know it has been repeating <laughs>、uh, for decades. 
But then what was really interesting for me is that when um, the Japan Foundation history was like um, explained, um, in early 2000, like when you, you ask the same question to the young curators, they didn't have much uh, experience to travel in, in Asia and also it was kind of hard to collect the information from all over the world. But when I was initiating this um, project 2018, it was an entirely different um, um, I mean, reaction that um, they didn't want to be um, defined as one um, unity or identity because most of them, um, some of them, they have uh, dual nationalities and they have experience to study in abroad and collecting information so easy if, if you would like to. So in that way, um, so I was feeling difficult to define Asia <laughs> in a very different um, perspectives. So uh, I also talked about it um, after the presentation. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And, and my, uh, yeah, my question to furuchi san which we knew, and we knew each other for so many years already, and it's more like a, not a really a question, but more like a, a comment that like a, I won't say how many greater great creators was in your project. I just want to say from my personal experience, like 20 years ago when I joined the under construction project, it's a really eye-opening um, journey for me. Before that, I was quite like, I think I'm the creator for Chinese contemporary art for, for, for many years. I, I strongly feel that uh, when we work for the M plus in the last 10 years, that experience still benefited me a lot. I think that's like uh, I knew so m many of my colleague working relations, the art artists we, we acquired, are all from that like three or four years, like a comprehensive um, experience and the lo later following up. But I also have one question, not one question, I want to know your feeling that uh, like, uh, I just feel like you mentioned one sentence like around 20, 2009, 2008. However, I just feel like a whole idea of like Asian I I I initiate in the Japan Foundation at, at that time before 2009 is kind of pre-internet period. I, I would say pre-web 2.0 period, and uh, now up 2009, and uh, totally the social media, like very fast and communication happen, and uh, that also changed the dynamic of the exchange, dynamic of the globalization, dynamic of the how people communicate their uh, love or hate, or this kind of things. So how do you feel in our day, if in, in our day, that because you didn't have chance to elaborate in your at the end of presentation in our day in the really web 2.0 or even at the metaverse um, peer period. How this kind of international exchange could be or should be or will be, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my question too fast. Well, thank you for that question. The so-called internet generation, uh, they are feeding the feeling of the internet uh, generation, and uh, people uh, who were in 1990s and 2000s, I think that the sense of time or sense of uh, speedness would be totally different. However, it is not just the internet that connects us. I mean, uh, the physical, uh, the space of working together, that also continues to be very much important, <laughs> particularly for those us who were born uh, in uh, uh, the Showa era. It's very much important, even for the internet the generation. I mean, the, the uh, art scene and art system is different from country to country, and you have to go there so that you'll be able to understand the differences. 
Sometimes you think that the, what you uh, considered uh, the common sense was not common sense in other countries, and in that case, you have to consider how you have to change and adapt yourself. For example, suppose that you are a very successful curator in Japan, and if you go somewhere else, maybe you will realize that you are not functioning at all in other countries. So you have to learn about this, and when you come back, you have to have a strong reflection on how you should work. So the awareness, the opportunities for awareness will be a good opportunity. I mean, the working together will give you such opportunities to opportunity to self-reflect. So this is very much important. It's not just the internet that connects you. And when you have a common experience with other people, you will have a strong sense of bonds or strong sense of unity, and that will be a very important asset for you. It will be an important, uh, uh, you know. Uh, the uh, asset and uh, that will change dramatically change the uh, the quality of your work. So I think that I still want people to have a in person, a person to person, a physical experience, not just a hundred percent rely on the internet. Of course, it is okay to use the internet and the, uh, the communication technology. It is very useful and convenient. But seeing and talking in physical space, and sometimes you misunderstand and be misunderstood by others, but that process is very much important. So, I hope that, uh, you know, uh, whether it is museum or uh, in the organization like where I work, I think uh, that uh, we should continue to offer such kind of opportunities. So people will be able to continue to have a physical interaction. Uh, Ms. Uh, Furuichi used to be in Japan Foundation, and uh, yeah, you have shared your experience while you were working for them. And uh, in looking for another family, uh, uh, you, you said that you were involved in, and uh, you had a problem with pandemic. However, in the process, you uh, used web and uh, communication technologies, um, but in the end, you were able to have uh, emotional uh, exchange uh, with uh, people, and you said that it was almost like a new kind of family for you. And so, I mean, that, you know, Furuchi-san's uh, comment was different. She emphasized the importance of physical meeting, but you also have a similar experience by utilizing the high technologies. Do you have anything that you'd like to share on us uh, with us on that point? Um. So uh, during pandemic, it wasn't um, like typical uh, way of making exhibition. Um, so I was kind of frustrated that like not many people would be um, come and see the show because it is not physically open. But um, in the end, we found uh, there is another opportunity to invite uh, people who are not in Seoul. Um, so when we open up um, the workshop on the internet, uh, we start. Like we didn't expect, but we start inviting um, the people from different countries, and then there they could expand um, better view um, because they are not only located in the local, so they could bring uh, their own stories to um, um, bring these thoughts uh, bigger. So that way, I found it was very positive, um, and I mean physical engagement. I, I, of course, I um, agree to. Um, it is important, but then somehow, um, like, what kind of um, conversation or talk uh, we exchange the the contents is, itself? If we could invest uh, enough time to understand, and sometimes a meeting um, online. Um, doesn't limit any space and time and so on. So um, we could find some more beneficial um, aspects on that, I guess. Uh, if uh, you have uh, any if comments on any the comments. other speakers, uh, please, Ms. Uh, Jawan. Uh, yeah, uh, to Pili. Um, so, so I, I was wondering because it is also um, our museum's um, uh, focus is that how to be an um, international institution. <laughs> so uh, when while your um, your presentation like from the very uh, beginning, uh, M plus uh, announced that it is not um, local um, Hong Kong or institution but international. 
So, I mean, like a lot of institutions are uh, working really hard to be more international and um, programming a lot of exchanges, but um, it's, it's somehow very hard because sometimes it's become just a one-time event and then moves away. So I wonder how it could work at M+. Thank you. I, I, I think that the M+, Plus committed to be a international museum is kind of the, I would say, happened to happen in Hong Kong in the first decade of 21st sen, sen, century. Maybe I should give a little bit of a review of what happened in Hong Kong after Hanover. I think uh, in many years, and the British colonial gov, gov, government uh, governance, Hong Kong government rarely talk about art because in the colonial uh, government, once you talk about art, then, I, then eventually we will touch the topic of the cultural identity sense. So even later until 1997, when, when be Hong Kong be handed over uh, to people from China, and then the Hong Kong government start to initiate the idea. So we should have a culture institution. We should have the kind of West Kowloon culture district to build up those this like large theater, opera house, museum, museums. The way they are quite a naive idea that uh, where well, Hong Kong be handed over to mainland China and the cultural identity will be handed over again. But in fact, Hong Kong was a city like been more than more than. 100 years and the British colonialism. And so for the art world, the people, even among the advisory board, when they start to advise the whole museum, that's also the parallel time uh, from 2003, 2006, 2012. That's also the parallel time that Hong Kong people quite uh, emphasize on their own um, identity politics. That's very strong, like what make us different from those um, institutions from mainland. And so even, so just under this kind of the political intention and the Hong Kong audience and the many um, museum advisors just feel like that, like what make Hong Kong different from the main, main, mainland is, is because there are international connections. Hong Kong as the international hub culturally, politically, or commercially. Um, so that's the real reason they more use the international as the way to identify their own identity in such a political intention. So that's why we are quite, a, it's, it's kind of happened to be this, but also you can see that's the heritage for the, those the, um, past the political histories. However, that's also very important from day one, like our first director, uh, Lars Nidves, and also Sohania, uh, and we built up our curatorial team, like a quite international curatorial team, and we are now with a quite international team. In our day, M+, plus, we have around 200 staffs, and among them, our creator, conservator, uh, exhibition manager, and all the staff from almost 40 nationalities. And that's really a part of the DNA, not only about the, the content of the museum being international, but also about the multiple uh, identities and how we work to, to together to achieve a great 21st century institutions. Yeah, thank you. Do, do I have a time to continue? <laughs> um, for to Furuti, I mean, after the um, your presentation, we also mentioned about the generation by generation. Though we are asking the same questions, their reaction changes, and it, I I found it really interesting while um, listening to your presentation. And then you mentioned about the um, the future direction for the Japan Foundation, um, like why we are um, sharing this, um, these experiences, like what do you think of um, what kind of direction you would have to take? Because I mean, you've been like working for the, uh, the, the foundation like more than like 30 years, <laughs> and I think um, you are like really watching the history changes, and and yeah, I think 
I should I should learn from <laughs> what you have done until now. <laughs> uh, I see my own face on the screen, uh, which is quite uh, exhausted or tired. Well, the question to answering the question is a very, you know, difficult because I'm already retired from uh, that organization. So the, you know, the future in the direction of the vision of the Japan Foundation should be considered by the, uh, you know, those who are currently responsible and working for the foundation so that's one you know the thing but uh, you know the apart from that uh, your generation you know the you and Ms. Fox generation uh, who's working for the you know the museum um, as a curators and I was uh, uh, you know the uh, surprised to hear uh, and uh, you set up uh, the question what is Asia who are the Asian and uh, uh, Probably that was one of the eternal questions through uh, that, you know, the generation. Today's, uh, you know, the theme, uh, the uh, new network in Asia and Pacific uh, region. And when uh, you call it, uh, what is Asia? Uh, you know, there is an inevitable question. And then you consider uh, the, uh, you know, what the program should be. Uh, that is a natural step of the process. And uh, that kind of question can never be defined clearly or the definitively of course we know the uh, you know the geographical Asia however uh, you know each person has a different image of Asia and there's no one uh, right answer uh, you know the, when I organized a symposium and the exhibition uh, you know the what I felt is uh, to uh, you know the build a relationship among the different player and a different thinker and that building itself is the Asia. That's my honest feeling. I worked with various partners in Asia, and for me, they are all Asian. They represent Asia. Each one has a difference. Uh, and they are diff from the different, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the area. I recently went to see the documenta, uh, and uh, the uh, similar uh, to Europe, the uh, Europe was, uh, you know, the formed through the long history by making the relationship, uh, you know, the in their own way, and which I do not know, or the, which we do not understand, uh, you know, the being, uh, you know, the in the different the continent but uh, you know keep thinking keep thinking what we are what Asian is uh, you know that I'm saying a very high level the abstract thing but uh, through what you do through your career and uh, which is intertwined with uh, your people the colleagues from the different country in Asia for me uh, Ms. Uh, you know the Lee uh, you are my Asia today okay uh, if we, uh, Ms. Fritch have a comment uh, to uh, uh, Ms. Park, what is uh, your current image of Asia? What do you think the Asia is right now, today? So I, I totally agree what you have said um, because um, the, the difference between um, the, the cu young curators who got the same question in early 2000 and 2018, their reaction is um, is is quite different because their experience and then what they are born with is really different. But what is common is that uh, like like what you said, like all individuals have their own image uh, of of Asia, and then collecting all these different stories um, and bring them to um, talk about it and inspire them, I think that has to uh, be the role of the um, museum um, when it comes to what is Asia. So uh, for me, it is like their own different like personal stories uh, around it. But then in the end, um, it brings um, the connections in common and building relationships. あの
この今回のタイトルははい。Um, I understand the policy better after you describe the history of the、uh, context.、Um, but I still am very curious about the inner workings of a museum, any museum really. But in your case, for instance, is there a debate that occurs、uh, around、uh, an exhibition or the acquisition of a work of art? Is there a discussion where there are Opposing points of view, and where maybe somebody says, Gabriela Orozco is a Mexican artist. We really don't, even though we are international, we don't really have a connection that doesn't quite make sense for us. Or,、um, or, or you know, is, is there you know, some kind of opposition? Does John Cage, is, is he seen, do, are there some who might see him as not appropriate, and then others who? Uh, do a good job of arguing that he,、uh, that John Cage's chance operations and interest in Zen make him a fundamental player in the narrative that you seek to convey to your public. So I'm just wondering about the, the process and the, the kind of、uh, intellectual side to the deliberations that,、um, that、uh, are kind of underlying these, these decisions. Or, on the other hand, is it simply a matter of、um, what is available and what opportunities can be taken advantage of and timing and that sort of thing? Okay. Thank you very much for the question. I think this is, I maybe need a longer time to answer your question because this is a process for 10 years. But if I may, I, I just briefly. I, I can explain your question from two sides. One is about the acquisition history of the museum, and the other is like how this like a、uh, uh, 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 curatorial di discourse happened among the creating the opening this place. So first of all, we received the, like、uh, the first five years and plus is really under this kind of turbulence about the acquisition like.、Uh, All the stakeholders they don't trust M M Plus. For example, even M Plus committed to be the international museum. Our first acquisition was a donation by Uli Zig. That's a major part of the Chinese art collection here. Then, 2012 is a big wave up. Like、uh, why Hong Kong taxpayers' money build up a museum、uh, for Chinese art. So that's really forced us to. Keep our eyes on how we contribute, how we present the Hong Kong visual culture. So, we spend a little bit of time to build up our strategy, which is different from previous Hong Kong art museum and a cultural heritage museum. So, until 2015, we are still、like、in this kind of the intention dialogue, build up the collection among China and Hong Kong and Taiwan and this kind of the Great China region plus the diaspora. And then our chief creator, Dorian Chong, joined us in the 
14, if I'm not wrong, and Sohania joined us in the 2015. Then we began the process, like, uh, don't forget, like, M plus supposed to be a committed to be an international institution, but uh, what's our strategy, and how do we want to collect our international art? And at the, before the 2015, we have very simple discipline, part of us like uh, also want to convince the, pub, the public, like exactly like uh, Antony Gormley, Asian Field did, like okay, we only acquire those international art which um, is like uh, created in this region, has impact to this region, or inspired by the culture in this region. That's, all, that's more our international strategy before the 2005 15. But uh, when Dorian joined uh, us and, uh, and uh, also the whole equatorial team, we start to make a uh, huge mind map, map. We're just talking about uh, those like uh, anchor artists globalized after the uh, Second World War and uh, what makes them being connected. So you can see me, my background from China, Dorian, uh, Korean, but has ex extreme knowledge about the uh, Korean and the Japanese art, and the Pauline Yao, American Chinese. So this kind of way for us really start to remapping this kind of the culture since uh, contemporary since after the second uh, after World War Second, and also another thing is also like a heritage. Like we have a long time, the government, the public want us to focus on the Chinese diaspora, and we really enlarge that to more like a Asian diaspora or like it's kind of the fluidity, like cross, like uh, inter, like cross nationality things. So that's the major component that we, 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 we make that. We, we do have some discussion since 2015 where we start to map in the show. So we generally speaking, we have long, deep, not really debate, but I, I think we have some uh, one of the debates is like, what's the position for Chinese art in the whole museum display? As as you can see, like uh, we put the Chinese as a comparison with Hong Kong, the Hong Kong show the di diversity. However, um, we also also understand that the opening of the museum is just the opening, and uh, the which means like we have make many shows of the museum. So we are more like uh, use the museum. We 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 just bring up one narrow narrative as the beginning, and uh, and then we understand there are still many things we can de discuss. We may challenge have the different the. Uh, common, but ideally we really want to, this, the opening show could be the beginning, try to break down this kind of the national discourse and the more focus on the kind of like uh, the pattern of the uh, international or global culture uh, art landscape after World War II. So as you can see, we have two ways to make that. Like uh, one way in Dorian's part, the birth of the museum, we have the John Cage, Nanjun Park. That's one way, more talking about the, the influence, like Western, like uh, the Zen, and to, to conceptualize and flux us and how that influence back. That's the one way. But you can also see another way that like uh, in the South Kokojong, which like uh, we're talking about individuals, the networks, that's also based on the, in this kind of thematic way, but, uh, but we insert wave in this kind of chronological disc course. So basically for the opening show, we really present two ways to, to build up the narrative for this kind of show. And the last thing I want to emphasize that like uh, the process of the museum, like we decided to collect in the show, but the collection is like always unfinished the, the process. And also, for example, before the museum opened, we don't we didn't have that strong ambitious to the Southeast Asia. At, at, at that time, National Museum Singapore is opening, and they are quite ambitious on that. Uh, but now, after the museum opened, we start to rethink about what's our policy, what's our new uh, research field. And immediately, Southeast Asia came into our site. So I think after several years of acquisition and the research, the narrative may shift again. So that's also the uh, process. Yeah, thank you. I am working for the National Museum of Art in Tokyo, so your explanation about the collection policy is very interesting. In our museum, not just Japanese artists, but we are inviting and collecting the art pieces from the overseas nations. So regardless of nationality, regardless of where they live, 
You have to look at the style of the artist. You have to look at the contents of the uh, art pieces. It is very important to know what they mean by their arts. As you said in your presentation, after the collection, after acquisition, how these pieces should be exhibited, with what kind of narrative, this is a very important discussion point. Thank you for your comments. And we have three minutes to go. Kataoka-san, please. I just wanted to ask a very short factual question. When you talk about international collection, do you have a sort of proportion of Hong Kong art, uh, Asian art, international art in your collection? I, I also wanted to ask uh, Ji one of the same question. Mm -hmm. How do you sort of look at your collection? Um, be honest, we don't have any proportion be designed in the in our acquisition policy. We don't have that uh, numbers. We don't have that uh, uh, obligations. Um, but we also, as I show in our geographic, like M Plus is a museum, like uh, we focus on the art in our region. Our region not only means Hong Kong, but also China and beyond those Asian friends. And then we talk about the beyond Asia. So, so I, I think uh, rather than talking about the so-called the proportion of the international art, but if you're reading about the, our mission that we really want to talk about uh, the history of contempt the, the history of the 20 to 21st century visual culture from our like our perspective i mean the perspective from our region so i i think that is slightly different from like uh, we set up the proportion for art from which region for us like uh, maybe for hong kong people like uh, uh, that's like a more totally different understanding of uh, the international for them maybe china is already the international so that somehow answer your question to be sure that we don't have the proportion, but we more from our needs to be built up the same. But Asia, or like a, the Asian related region, are our priority to build up our narrative of contemporary from our perspective. Yeah. Um, in terms of MMC, traditionally we are more focused on medium and materials. So um, the collection category is more like sculpture. Um, paintings and like it's, it's very old way and now we have another discussion that do we define this work as a sculpture <laughs> or video installation so like those kind of discussions are going on but then there is no um, category between domestic and international so uh, only focus on the medium but then recently we also but we are interested in um, going uh, further into the reasons and then as we initiated initiated uh, the Asia Focus since 2017, um, our major uh, focus reason is, is Asia. One more sentence to, uh, to answer your question. So, so far the whole M plus collections, we have like uh, the archive or the M plus books. That's like a more, um, more like a quite a even distributed from our artwork. Like we have 8,000 artworks, and among them, around 50% is the art from the Great China region, not the China, also including the diaspora, like overseas Chinese, or even second generation Chinese art artists. So half of them from this Great China region. And for the Great China region, we only have like uh, around like 1,000, or less than 2,000 from art of mainland China. And mainly was donated by Dr. Wu Lizi. And the rest of the half is really the international, so that, that's like that's not our intention, but that's like a, the the, sta the status of the collection numbers. Yeah. So, when it comes to the category, the media is a focus. So we, in a museum, in the modern and the contemporary art, traditional way of making categorization seems to be very difficult if you look at the modern art or the contemporary art. So, with these people getting together to talk about the collection, 
I think globally people are trying to review the collection and change the collection. So the discussion on the ideal way of making a collection could be a discussion point for the future. But we are sorry that we have used our time. You may have further questions, but for the remaining two days, please try to ask your question to these people. And if you have any comments or questions to those people who are on the stage now, please take them, please talk to them in the free time. And now we'd like to give you our appreciation and big hands to all the people on the stage. Thank you. Thank you for those people on the stage. So this is end of this session number one.